In this video, we'll be walking through how to configure Stackhawk to scan your REST APIs. So you'll need your application ID and environment name, as well as the host for where your API is running at the time of the scan. Um, and then Auto Policy actually will configure the scanner so it's only sending relevant tests to your API. Line six here is actually telling the scanner where to grab your open API spec. So whether that's um, a file relative to your project directory or uh, at a route uh, relative to the host, uh, Stackhawk can actually pull in the API spec. It'll seed the scanner. So rather than us having to discover um, your API, um, it takes the guesswork out of the process and seeds the scanner with the list of routes. And then we can also send better tests to each route because we know how they're defined. The rest of this file here is looking at authentication for your API. So the scanner will need a logged in and logged out indicator to know the state um, of its authorization access. Um, the logged in indicator can be a, a regex, it could be a query. You can see here I have it set for a 200 status code. Um, logged out, I have that set to 401. And then the type of authentication we're using here for this API is actually a JSON form. Um, so yeah, that's indicated here and it uses username and password credentials uh, that get posted to the login path. Um, it has two fields, the username field and the password field. And then admin and admin password are the actual values for those fields. Um, so we'll submit this form. I and mean, what we expect after we submit the form is to get a token returned to us. Um, so here we're telling the scanner to expect that token uh, and actually to extract it from the response body and the name of that token will be access. And then we also tell the scanner how to use that token going forward. Um, so it should be used as a bear token in the authorization header uh, on any subsequent request to other API routes. Um, and then finally, we give the scanner a test path. So a place for us to test the credentials, make sure they're working at the beginning of the scan. Um, and that way we ensure we don't complete the scan and, and look at the logs and see a bunch of uh, 400 level status codes, but it gives us a place to validate that the auth, auth credential we have is working as expected. And that's all it takes to actually configure Stackhawk to scan your REST APIs.